Before this video starts, I want to tell you guys, one week before the tournament, or not even one week, like maybe five days before the tournament, guys, Zico messages me. He's like, yo, Snuts, this is dual as men. No resist gear from me, no resist gear from you. I don't want the viewers to deal with a 20 minute duel. That's what his, his excuse was. I'm like, I mean, I think that's a disadvantage for me, but I'll consider it. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why, why did this he want to duel me with no resist? Because I know he's been farming all this fucking resist gear just for me, just for, for our duel. So why, why, why would he message me asking for a manly duel? And now, we'll find out why. So, before the story starts, that's what I want to tell you guys. Because Zico actually messaged me five days beforehand. And was like, yo, this duel with no resist. So I'm curious to see this video. Video here. is coming about the sweat behind the scenes in preparation for the tournament. So, I'm going to show you guys the, the hidden tech. And why was he just targeting me, 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 by the way? I mean, there were like 150 people in the duel tournament. This was my emergency strategy against Warlock. I'll, I'll show you guys a lot of stuff. We'll talk about everything leading up to it. We'll talk about everything, guys. It's all out there. I have nothing to hide. So I spent all that time farming this uh, this Shadow Res gear for it to, in the end, just be complete. Like it just so happened that both of, both of us made it to the finals and he just, he, all this prep for that one fucking, fucking duel. Trash anyway. Uh, it's a shame it didn't work. We could have just like gotten absolutely wrecked by brackets. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about all the sweat. There is this pattern. Right? Oh my god, he had the rune Stygian gear. It's called Stygian set. Rune Stygian boots, leggings. Jesus Christ. And uh, the belt. So the stats on this set is stamina, shadow res, MP5 on all of them. Okay. Now, in order to get the rune Stygian set, this is what you gotta do. You get it from this. He was still going this this morning? When Zigo was still talking about it this morning? Box. It's a 2% drop in this box, right? In order to get this box, you have to in do 20 pages, chain, right? 20 pages, I think. All over in Silitus here, which unlocks yeah. Hermit or Tal. This quest chain, uh, it involves like killing a bunch of mobs, blah, 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 blah. You turn in 10 Twilight texts. And you know the funny thing is about him farming this guy is he did it off stream. So he would that, that means he would stream for like 12 hours a day, 12, 16 hours, and then, then do this off stream afterwards. That's crazy. He takes it, and then eight hours later, he sends you a mail with the box. Now, you can buy those on the auction house. The problem is, hold on, no, 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 you guys haven't, you guys haven't heard anything yet. The problem is, there is no Twilight texts on the entire auction house on uh, Score Rock Horde. So what I did was... I did the whole quest chain, then I made an alliance character, paid people to summon a lot of money. It is, it is. Made a second alliance character. I think for him especially though, it's more about glory. I'll present them to you right now. I mean, it's insane with me. We both just wanted to win. 50k is very nice Go back here. Very, very nice. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, El Haglo. In Stranglethorn Vale. And of course, his brother, El Sasso <laughs> in Stormwind City. <laughs> El Haglu, I would sell the best jerky that money could buy. <laughs> 500 gold on the neutral auction house. El Sasso, buy dude. It on, I would trade a friend and then he would buy it of El Haglu. Or, uh, uh, yeah, of El Haglu. Then El Haglu would send. Bro, he went through all this, guys. All this. And let me show you, boys. For the tournament day, I didn't even form my shoulder enchant. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get a shoulder enchant. Bro. <laughs> All right. All right. El Sasso would then go to the auction house on the Alliance side, buy up all of the Twilight texts, send them back to El Haglo. Then El Haglo... Posted them on the neutral auction house. I'm in Vegas fucking friend, partying, again, boys. <laughs> Zico's <'cause> snipe <laughs> it, you can't buy your own auctions. Oh, this he is amazing. Buy all of the Twilight texts, trade them to my mage, who would then go to Silitus every day and turn in hundreds and hundreds of texts. I turned in so many texts until I got all three recipes. We got all of the three recipes. What's the math on that? On the mage. This took us probably like... 1,500 gold straight up. We bought up the entire auction house supply on Ali's side every time it was up. Uh, so we did that, okay? And then we were the only person on the server who could craft runes, dig and set. I think I'm a, uh, for then season of discovery, guys, I'm gonna play everything. I'm gonna play everything, but I'm gonna start, my first character will be Warlock. 
Then we ran UBRS. Now UBRS, as you guys might know, I pretended for the longest time that I wanted Alliance or Horde for Discovery. I trinket. want to play Horde, but I'll play wherever people are I playing. I could not give a rat's ass I think Alliance about would be too good. this trinket. The reason why I was doing UBRS was because the helmet, this right? Guy it's got to be the helmet. Drops yep. this helmet right here. Yep. You know why? You know why I know about the helmet, guys? Because I did UBRS for the helmet. <laughs> so I, I, I know exactly what he was going for. I know exactly what he was going for. <laughs> Dragon skin cowl. Okay? Because I didn't want this any of this. Mine dropped really fast. I did like tank. minimum of 10. If I run into snuts, I'm going to need some shit. The way this works is this boss has a 12.87% chance to drop the dragon skin cowl. And then the dragon it's skin RNG cowl, though, enchant. Is random enchantment. That is always a random resist. So this is a 16% chance of a 13% chance. So it's basically 2% chance to drop. I ran so much UBRS until I got the right one. Then I did all of the turn-ins over at EPL. Yeah, Zico lost his 60. Well, it's, it's on a different server now, right? I'm assuming. With 10 Shadow Reds. Okay. I it's no longer on the uh, hardcore server. This is a 1.5% drop rate ring, and it can proc a random resist. I ran Scolomance until I got fucking exalted with Argent Dawn. Then every oh my God. single day for the entire tournament, since like day five... I looked for the talisman, the talisman right here. This is a 0.1% or like 1% drop in Dire Maul off of trash. And it's not just any trash, it's that, those specters in Dire Maul that drop this thing. And it did not exist on the auction house until the very final week of the tournament where it popped up on the Alliance auction house. The guy posted it for 700 gold. 400 gold bid. I stayed up the whole night watching the auction because I didn't have that much gold. So 400, 400 gold bid. I scouted it like it was the black market. 700 G's. I bought this. El I, I, Suso El was on fire. What do you mean El Suso, bro? Then, after I got the talisman, I had to move the talisman. So I sent it over to El Haglo. El Haglo posted it on the neutral okay so he buys it for on also so in stormwind he mails it to el haglo who's sitting in stv right next to the mailbox okay that's where we're at right now Well, auction house and okay. my friend was ready to snipe it guess what fucking happened a fucking bot level one in strangletorn veil vale bought it before my friend i swear so now i'm whispering some like level one chinese bot <laughs> Actually, he might even be online. Let's check. <laughs> oh, wait. This is Alliance. Let me log on Horde. No way. I swear. I swear. There was a level one Chinese bot called Greetings All that fucking sniped it. So now I'm haggling with this fucking bot trying to buy my own neck back. <laughs> and I don't want him to know. Yo, I'm fucking desperate. I'll go for 500 G if that's what it takes to buy this fucking thing. So I whisper him, I was like, yo, dude, you bought my auction, like, you know, uh, fair play to you. Uh, do you mind? What's his strategy, you? though? Like, I mean, like, how much? Shower just gear is good, but it's not good. that good. That sounds good. How's he going to kill me? We got the, the stadium. Oh, my set. God. I got mine for like 300 next. gold, like for the, I think it was like 350 for like the neck and, and so cloak. Stack it up. There was one thing missing. Neck and cloak or something like that. My friends is Juno's shadow. Yeah, yeah, this cloak he's talking about. Yeah, neck and cloak, it was like 350. Which is a cloak which drops in Stratholm, 0.1% drop rate. Yeah, yeah, I got so this on Alliance as well. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. I actually got it on the last day, and thank God I did, guys, because I had to play Hydra. So I, I did the exact same thing. I got this on the very last day of the tournament. So this was my SR. So I had the helmet, cloak, neck, this one with the wand. Uh, Pre-buffed, 162. I'm probably missing something, but this is how mine was kind of looking, looking like as well. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. We bought it. We smuggled it over successfully. Then we also bought the Shadow Resistance Rings. And not only did we buy the Shadow Resistance Rings. He was capped. You wouldn't be able to do damage to, to him? On the auction house. I bought it and deleted it. I don't need so to, you though. Can see here. I have two my pet, my pet does all the damage. Uh, I just bought. Every time I'll I go into them, detail I afterwards. Them. I, I didn't watch this. People wouldn't fuck with me, you know, in the tournament. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I say there was sweat, you guys have no idea how much sweat there was. There was... Oh, holy shit, there was sweat. <laughs> so we got the full Shadow Res set, okay? We got the uh, Shadow Resist green ring, almost top roll. Dots can't the, be partially resisted? The yes, they cannot be partially Skolo. resisted. We got the well, Shadow Reflector. There's a certain way of how it works. And it's not bug though. People we're, think it's a bug. It's not a bug. It is bugged, but it was it was like the vanilla as well, so it works the same way as it did back then. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, like yeah, maybe it's bugged, but this is how it's des it's designed. It's not like hardcore came out and this. Uh, yeah, it's not like hardcore came out and this and, and, and it ends up being like this. But let's, 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 let's watch the video. Let's watch the video. But I use them up on uh, in the tournament, but it's an elixir that lasts 30 minutes. It's undispellable and it gives 15 to all res. So we had all of chromatic that. Glass, oh, yeah, chromatic glass. Chromatic glass. Okay, so we were sitting at 275 res. With the gift of Arthas, we would be at 285. And then with the uh, pot, we would be at 300, which is hard cap. Hard cap. You cannot have more resistance than that. Uh, I mean, you can, but it doesn't do anything unless they have spell pen. Then, and Peyo can attest to this because I was in calls with Peyo. Yes. Yes, I would have Mark of the Wild and I would have Shadow Protection too. But he was but worried about purges, I right? I didn't want to risk getting my shit dispelled. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Because you guys saw in the finals, I didn't have Shadow Protection. I didn't want to rely rely on anything in the in the, that that. Would yeah, I didn't have buffs either in the, the finals. Now, or certain buffs. I'm gonna show you guys a website. This website, I would have, let's say, four thousand five hundred health in my resist set. And 300 shadow res. This would give me almost 16k effective health. Now, with shadow protection pot, I would be at like let's say, let's say 8,000. So I would be a literal raid boss. Now my strat against snuts was, and this is where it gets sweaty. And this is Peyo can, if you ask Peyo about this, he will confirm this. I was in fucking rage fire chasm every single night. Leveling my fucking staff. This took so long to level. And I wanted Headmaster's Charge specifically for Snuts. And I enchanted it with Demon Slaying. And you guys remember, I told you guys, oh yeah, I no. want Demon Slaying because it looks cool. I wanted Demon Slaying. And you know what else I wanted? I wanted Melee Jujus. No! I wanted the Jujus. You see these? Uh, attack Power and Strength Jujus. I was going to use that and <laughs> I was going to use Elixir of Demon Slaying, which gives you 265 AP against demons specifically. And I was going to run at Snuts with 30,000 health, spam sheeps on him, and auto attack his fucking dog. That was my strat. That was 100% my strat. Now, the reason why I didn't do this strat, after spending. Probably three or four thousand gold. Oh I my decided, god! Oh shit, I like it though. I like it. Though. Test my theory here and I like see if it. it works. So, I went out in Durotar. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna go through the resist. I dueled a warlock, and I dueled a priest. This is why originally I wasn't that scared of shadow resist because I knew shadow resist worked a certain way in classic. What I thought was gonna happen was that I was gonna resist everything he does. I was gonna get mana back. Prove him wrong. He can't win. Uh, he can't win with that strat. Well, I mean, he can't because it's bugged, right? Well, for him, it's well, like two people, it's bugged. But he'll die. He'll die before he can staff my pet down for sure. Every time I resist, and I was gonna be completely unkillable. That was the strat. And eventually, I would just up well, the devourer magic dev confirmed is a bug. What I mean is, just because it's a bug, if it works that way in classic, then that's how it's going to be. Does that make sense? There's a lot of bugs in the game. Like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of bugs in the game. But if it works a certain way in Classic, then that's how it's going to be. So that's why I wasn't worried about it, because I knew this was how it works in... in it, that, that's how it works in Classic. It's not like it just bugged out all of a sudden in Makara. Like, it's been this way at 60 for however long now. I don't know how long, but I remember testing some something like this in CDO. I swear I tested this some, some shit in CDO as well, because I was scared of Shadow Resist too. I was scared of some form of Resist. And I remember doing some testing with it. So... Even if it's a bug, it's a known bug, and it's it's been in the I mean it's just been in the game. So it's not like it is like like the game it has been like just just got bugged like the past month and. But I mean there's a lot of bugs in classic. Exactly a flaw design that was never fixed. But is it is it a bug though if it's worked this way for the last twenty years? Because I remember I do remember testing it in CDO and it worked. Outlast him, kill his dog, and win. Now what actually happened, and this is where we need Desenzo here, our homie. Now I want you to 
max rank, pain me, spam it like 10 times in a row without without the uh, without letting it uh, even tick just spam it so as you can see here it says resist but what i'm resisting is the application of uh, you know like the dot yeah but good to, i had someone message me on my shorts i'll, I'll go through resist. it like so i'm resisting this the shadow vulnerability okay that's I okay i was gonna be able I'll to wait i'll, 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 I'll wait to application this. you see every time he dots what I resist is shadow vulnerability, but I can't resist the actual dot. Now, I'm not sure if that's how it was. I can only resist the dot if he's not hit capped and you know, like the natural 1%. So I'm not sure if that's a thing. And also, okay, okay, stop. Now look at, look at my damage that I'm taking. Now the first tick had no partial resist, right? Now, every consecutive tick after that, will not do a resist check. You see? Every tick will do full damage. You see that? So I was actually dying faster wearing full uh, Shadow Res gear because all the ticks don't... So for me, when I heard about this, when I when I think of Shadow Resist, the reason why I thought he wanted to wear Shadow Resist gear, guys, was that, that I, so that I would just resist spells and he would eventually kill me. That's what I thought he wanted Shadow Resist gear for. But I already knew this part was in the game. Like this part of Shadow Resist, I already knew was in the game. I thought he wanted Shadow Resist because he wanted me just to miss spells, which which it does do. You miss spells. Eventually you're gonna land one, but you do miss spells. I didn't think he wanted Shadow Resist gear for partial resist. Don't check the, the resist, the resist RNG. And I feel like it wasn't like that. I never actually tested this against the Shadow Priest, so it might be different because he has Shadow Weaving, but I tested it against a regular Priest. Try again, if, if I get it on the first tick, you, you will notice it. I tested you don't miss though? Yeah, I mean, I miss on like, fear, spell lock, coil. Like you miss on, yeah. Because okay, I, test, I tested this here. in CDO. I tested this in 2019, dual tournament. You see? You see how every tick has, almost every tick has partials? That's because if the first dot tick doesn't resist, every tick will check for the RNG. So this is just unlucky, but. You can see here three in a row, four in a row. So the reason why I completely scrapped the shadow res is because I think that's a bug. I don't think it's intended to work like that. And not only is shadow resistance bugged, but also fire resists is bugged. And I think this is something that happened. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think I think it is a bug as well, but I think it's a it's a it's a known bug or it's a bug that's not that hasn't been looked at in like the past. I mean, it's been around for twenty years. But I feel like this is something Zico should have known a long time ago. It's not, it's not like a fresh bug that just popped up like two months ago. It's classic. It's old version of the game. Like you're gonna you're gonna run into stuff like this. But I think someone messaged me on my, one of my YouTube videos. And then what did they say? Even honestly, you lucked out that Shadow Resist is bugged. I don't think you would have won if Zico had his original plan not ruined by that. J.R. Robbins, <laughs> like <laughs> happened when they changed. You guys remember in TBC when they changed? Um, so the fellow I I mean I knew about this a long time ago. So didn't have he probably remembers that it got fixed back in 20, 2007. There's no way, man, because he did as he Zico was part of the dual tournament with me. A million resist it's in 2019, and that tournament was like longer than than this one. So he had multiple in, chances to, to have tested it. It would just take partial resist instead. I think that's when this changed. Wait, we can test with more stuff, by the way. If it did work though, you would be kind of screwed though. Yeah, maybe, maybe potentially. I don't disagree with you, but if, I mean, if, the, if there's a lot of things worked in classic, right? There be, then, you know, same can be said with a lot of stuff. It, it, the game is old. The game is made fucking 20 years ago. And I personally, if, if that was a strategy, I would just spam fire spells. By the way, I can show you with mind blast, another thing. And wand. Uh, and I can show you no with cap. mana burn, another thing. I don't actually think it would actually work. I'd actually think I'd kill him with fire spells and wand by the, before that even happened. Well, that I noticed, which is complete fucked. What's more realistic, me killing him with fire spells or him meleeing my pet? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, frost but who knows if you have 300 frost res i have 25 percent chance to just even land my spell and that's because all my frost spells apply a slow so it works like that and it works the same for cc so if he tries to fear me he will have like uh he will extremely low chance to hit it uh try fear me but it's interesting though it is interesting though with the melee with the melee strat i mean i think it's i think it's cool i think it could have maybe worked 
I'm not saying it can't, not saying it wouldn't have. I don't know. We didn't get to try it. Um, but I don't know. I just don't think I'm bad enough to lose to a mage smacking my pet. If and no matter what circumstance, that'd be weird. But that's just the the how binary spells work. You see, fear. Uh, the only thing Shadow Res does is basically deny fears. But yeah, in terms of the Shadow Res stuff, I already knew this was like in the game. It's not like something new. Uh, try. You could duel him with the only fire spells on the server he's on now. Technically, you can't test it. Yeah, if I if I lose this character, I'm down to test it. But this character's not going anywhere for now. Uh, burn me. X5. And you're going to see every single burn will land, but it will do partial damage. And look at my mana. You see that? Every burn is doing 100 damage and burning 800 mana. So it's complete fucking useless against mana burn. And then also, uh, Mind Blast has 100% hit rate. Try Mind Blast me. Mind Blast can only miss from... Can't resist mana burn at all? I mean, it's the same thing that happened in Wrath earlier this expansion where like it, it would go through resilience too. One, it has only but yeah, like I said, I mean... I don't think this is a very like big news thing, for, at least for me. Maybe to some people, but I knew there was like some weird thing with uh, with partial resist when it came to dots. Only a one percent chance to miss, but it will always do partial damage. <laughs> the mana burn thing is weird, though. And I don't this, know how that works. I it's, feel it's, like this is not how it used to be, because this is also how fire spells work. Like fire spells that don't apply a, a debuff, like scorch Adi. and fire blast, cool. also have a hundred percent hit rate. So yeah, the mana part is really weird. I for actually sure. debated playing elemental mage because of this, but I felt like it would be too bad into like rogues and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I spent all that yeah. time farming this. So we'll, uh, we'll finish the video, guys, Sarah's and I'll show you guys what Zico messaged me. If I have it on Discord, I think he might have messaged me uh, in game. For it to, in the I might end, actually, I might have both. So I'll show you guys anyway, both. And mm, it might have been in game. I'm pretty sure. The Fuck! It was probably in game, guys. God damn it. I don't know if dot I don't know if I have it. But anyway, Zico messaged me. I think so. This I think this what happened. Zico did the testing, right? I think, I'm pretty sure Zico did the testing with 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 Shadow Resist. He farmed up all his gear, did all, and then and then he did and then he he did his testing, and it was like five days before the tournament happened. And Zico tried to do this. He tried he tried he messaged me. He's like, "Yo, snuts, let's just for the viewers, let's just play natty. No resist. You don't use resist. I don't use resist. I think the duel is gonna go long. We're gonna draw out. It's gonna be boring. It's not gonna be good. Let's just draw it out. I mean, let's just play natty." And I'm like, um, I mean, can we do a dual test first? I, like, are we actually just going to be wanting each other with both resists? Like, I got to see what's going on here. What, what's what's happening here first, right? And in my mind, I'm like, I know this guy's been farming resist gear for the last two weeks. Why does he all of a sudden want to fucking, why does he all of a sudden want to go natty duels? And by natty, he means like, if you guys have, if you guys see my, my, I mean, Zico had a set, boys. I had a set too. I had the Zico Slayer staff here, right? I had the Zico Slayer offhand, and then uh, Frost Reflector, and then uh, would flask it up. So I was I was I was rocking high high resist as well. I didn't go like crazy on the rings and everything because I still wanted to do damage. But in terms of resist, I had some uh, some goodies as well. This was this was actually took me a long time to farm. Man made a melee set for you. You gave him three items, bro. I didn't even get an enchant, bro. <laughs> I don't, he, this guy's farming I'm exalted. I, I'm, I, I was too scared to enter dungeons at one point. But now I get it. Now I know why he messaged me. Zico, that fucking. I'm gonna message him tomorrow and call him out on that. Zico was trying to be nice. He was like, "Yo, this is dual natty. This, this is no resist gear. I know you're farming resist. I'm farming resist. This is play normal." Or if the first dot checks the resist uh, RNG and and then the, all of the rest of the dots do. Uh, versus if the first dots does full damage and then all of them do full damage. That sounds like a coding issue. That does not sound uh, like that's how it's supposed to be. Because every individual dot should check the resist RNG. I'm not making any excuses. I probably would have still lost, by the way. But I'm just saying that was my idea that I had going into it. That was my strat. So I wasted all my gold, basically. <laughs> the headmaster is fun charged. to watch the melee mage, huh? With the with this with the staff. It would have been really fun. It would have been really funny. Spot. It's the highest DPS staff that you would have been really get funny without raiding. The staff is like only a little bit lower DPS than uh, than ATH. <laughs> maybe yeah, would have. So maybe maybe, maybe my, wouldn't have. My plan. I planned for a month. I personally thought that he just had shadow resist gear to try to resist spells like CC spells, so that he could just kill me or kill my pet. Regarding the partial resisting to dots, I already knew about that. 
I I, I knew shadow uh, shadow resist worked a certain way. I didn't know it was the same with fire, but I knew shadow resist worked that way. But yeah, that would have been that would have been really that would have been really cool, really fun to watch. The melee, and the, I'd have to see how much he actually he actually swings at pets for with demon slaying and stuff and juju's. But eventually, eventually, I, I'd probably just be able to kill him. But who knows? It it is still good against fear and coil. Yes, it is still good to avoid CC. But the thing is, you're sacrificing so much to avoid CC that you're you're kind of losing on damage and you're kind of losing on mana and stuff like that. So. And yes, as for SOD, guys, Season of Discovery, I'll be pumping out a ton of fucking content moving forward. So if you guys can, toss me that follow. I'll be uh, pumping it all out. Going through like all the builds and, and all, the, all the talents for every class.